Well, big questions tonight about the gyrocopter flight that ended there on the Capitol grounds. That pilot flew 30 miles into restricted airspace. And tonight, questions about who was tracking him and why no one tried to stop him. Tom Rousey is live at the Capitol with the newest developments now. Tom. And Allison, exactly one week ago, the gyrocopter landed pretty much on this spot, very close to the Capitol. And tonight, some of the men who worked there had some serious questions about what happened. And afterwards, they spoke to the media. He is That's lucky to be real. alive because he, he, he should have been blown out of the air and very well could have been. House Oversight Committee Chairman Jason Chaffetz said that after a private briefing with Secret Service and Capitol Police about the gyrocopter. If it was up to me, I, I would have... I would have taken care of the problem, yeah. Chaffetz and Maryland's Elijah Cummings gave new details about what happened a week ago. We were briefed that there were multiple weapons trained on this gyrocopter, and they elected not to fire on the gyrocopter. The men said they were told the decision not to fire was a judgment call. But one of the things they did say is they worry about people on the ground. The congressman said pilot Doug Hughes flew 30 miles in restricted airspace. They said communication between agencies was poor. At one point, parts of the Capitol were put on lockdown, but lawmakers weren't told. The men say the agencies protecting D.C. need to take this very seriously. We've got to send a very strong message out there um, that if someone comes within that airspace, they're going to have a problem, a major problem. And we also learned tonight that when Doug Hughes flew in on the gyrocopter, he pretty much started at the Lincoln, went down the entire length of the National Mall before landing here on the West Lawn of the Capitol. By the way, the Oversight Committee that answered some questions tonight, they're going to have another meeting on this issue next week with more questions for other law enforcement agencies. Reporting live tonight just outside the Capitol, I'm Tom Rousey, ABC 7 News. Yeah, pretty strong words there, Tom. Thank you.